Hello and welcome to another weekend update. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my new uh, trailers I've been working on that will be are designed to be used with the chemical mixing pack. Uh, um, yeah, we'll take a look here at some of the customizations I've set up so far. Uh, so you get the option here for tandem or uh, triaxle on the trailer here. Um, that changes up your deck and all that to, to match. Uh, and then we have the option for the sprayer deck for transporting your sprayer to the field on the trailer. We'll get that as an option. And we got several color options. Um, these are on the real manufacturer of this trailer. It's not going to be licensed, but on the real manufacturer, these are some of the factory color options they have. So I decided to throw some of them in there just I really like this green one and actually I like that one a lot. It's probably one of my favorites. Oh yeah, decided to throw some of these on there. That's a galvanized option. It kind of looks eh, so-so, but a few unique colors on the trailer that they have as an option, but I'm gonna get this one in green. Uh, we'll get it with the sprayer deck. I already bought one without the sprayer deck also for showing here. We'll buy that one. Everything's still work in progress. It's, it'll be a lizard, not a Demco, but... And we'll get some tanks to throw on it. Uh, just for the shake, the sake of showcasing things. Uh, yeah, we'll get... That one in black. We'll get one of these for the sprayer deck. And white and we'll get uh, one of these as well throw on the different trailers oh let's grab the bubble here pull that trailer out of the way make it a little easier to maneuver with the skid steer there we'll see if the skid steer will lift the tanks so far i've just been testing them with the forklift, but we'll test out some different equipment to make sure it all works together well. That was close. Now we'll run over here to the skid steer. Show uh, loading the tanks, or putting the tanks on the trailer with this guy. Maybe this doesn't... Maybe the collision for these forks doesn't get under the tanks is nice. I wonder if I maybe should... I might have to make some tweaks to the tanks, make them easier to pick up, since this will be likely the way most people are going to move them around. I almost had it there. There we go. I can move this one around, but... Higher. It might be interesting to get to some of those other tanks. It doesn't want to come off. Yeah, this is all stuff that'll have to quickly be fine-tuned a little bit. Not off there. Let's look in the collisions of things. Yeah, we'll throw this... one. Obviously I'll uh, need to be some more tweaks yet made on these. On how they work and interact with the pallet forks might need to change up the collision, put maybe a little paper on it so it's easier to get underneath with the forks or something like that.
I upgrade this one to be a little heavier for the skid steer. The weights of all the tanks are different based on how big they are, so this one is the heaviest one to move around. I also didn't think that through on putting it on the tandem. I mean, it's the biggest tank of the pack, but... Oh yeah, and then once you get them on there... Oh, that one's a little too far. Too far forward. That should work now. Uh, good patch that one. And there. So yeah, we can patch the tanks there. Still got plenty of room in between the tanks for the mixing system and all that once they get that modeled up on there. Um, and I got some sprayers here to test out the sprayer deck with. It's all it's fully lit uh, there. Whether it's folded up or if you oh, on the wrong one. There. If you unfold it, it's also still got its marker lights so you can see it easily. We can lower the ramps down. Uh, I'll maybe have to tweak the thing there just to make it easier to understand what we're looking at there. It's got LED lights all around. So that looks pretty sharp. Um, yeah. Get that unfolded. Try the John Deere here. Also bought tried it with the John Deere, so I know it for sure works, but I haven't tried that case rear yet, so we'll have to test it as well. Because I know it I was looking at them earlier, it had a little bit of a funny collision to it, so I'll have to make sure it works. Clear the trailer. Uh, so yeah, we get the wheels spaced out there. And should be able to roll it right up. And start out quite perfect there, because the Mac was in the way, but... John Deere on there. Or we can back it off. And try this case and see if it'll go up. This thing looks mean with its big loader tires. Out a bit. Okay, I'll try squaring up some more. Alright, yeah. So oh, it's so close. There can get up there, but yeah, the collisions on it are not quite ideal. Now it's oh yeah, the collisions on it are not very ideal at all. So I might I might reach out to Caesarius and see if he could fix that, but so people can use this. Um trailer with his sprayer. I'll just quick screenshot that there to show him. I'll go back in the John Deere and we'll just throw it on. Uh, I also believe the in-game hardy should work. I haven't tested it yet either. It's not a very straight drive up, but it works. Oh yeah, we're all on the ramps there. Not perfect by any means, but then we can put the ramps back up. And we'll just use put the straps on the trailer. That'll lock it in place. And we're ready to head to the field here. Except for the fact that we're still missing a few parts on the trailer itself, but... Yeah. Yeah, there's the 
spare deck and trailer there. So you can haul your sprayers out to the field with your chemical. So you're ready to do all the spraying. That's a bit of a brutal corner there. Yeah, we'll go. We'll drive down to the well, throw some water in it to max out the weight. Well, the model worked out pretty good for this thing, and I saw in the pictures of how it folded up, and I've, in previous versions of Farm Sim, when there's been sprayer decks like this, so I don't recall there ever being any that folded up. I was like, well, that kind of makes it awkward if you want to use it as a normal trailer, so when I saw how these ones folded up, I was like, I can make that work. It makes it a lot more useful of a trailer for more times out of the year. You can fold the side uh, of the sprayer deck up and you can use it like a normal trailer if you want to, so. Oh, I've got how slow this feels. Um, but yeah, that's the sprayer deck there. Uh, we can jump over to Blender here. Not a whole lot different, but at the start I got the step done for the mixing setup uh, this morning, but yeah, I'm trying to I'd start on there, but there's not a whole lot of reference info. I got this image, and that's about it for reference material for doing this. So, at least for you know good 2D images. So it might take a little bit of figuring out and stuff to make it, but that's kind of the goal. And if some setup for that version of the trailer, and then if it's the mixing or the sprayer hauler, it'll probably be set up different because the sprayer deck is going to come to here, and I think the sprayer nose comes to about here, so I'll likely have to change up how it's set up a bit if you're going to load the sprayer on there, just because it is a shorter trailer, but that's kind of that there. And we got a full load of water here. That'll definitely work the truck. I'm pretty sure I put the big Detroit on here, so. Can't even. Got nice turn signals, everything on the trailer, so we can. Need to make some adjustments to the attachers, or maybe the collisions up front there. Yeah, I got straps all along the whole deck there. Um, yeah. So, be a very flexible trailer, whether you're using it for the chemical mixing or if you just want a deck deck trailer with cool color options. Um, should be a pretty good all purpose tool for many jobs on the farm. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I got for this week's video. Uh, um, hopefully maybe next week I'll have some more components for the mixing system done and some more, you know, a little bit closer to a finished mod for this version of the trailer. There's be a few different versions and setups, but once I get the base mixing equipment done, it's a matter of figuring out all the attachers and configurations for it. So yeah, that's all we got for this week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully catch you uh, next weekend.